welcome welcome so i was sitting here wondering what am i gonna tell you guys today right and i thought let me tell them two dopey story yeah because i know that as you see the title if you're a jamaican you know exactly what i mean when i say i'm going to tell you some dopey story right so i remember one in particular well we lived on a farm and there was an army man who lived maybe a couple farms up the road from us before i was born right and um Apparently he had this fear of being buried alive. So in telling family, so when him dead, plant him, bury him, head one place and embody the next place. So they fulfill his wishes and they did exactly that, right? So we used to have some man who used to go to bush in the early morning because we milk cows. And they um, would go out like four o'clock in the morning. So in the early hours when the mist is in the valley and everything, and they used to talk over the years. I used to hear the story how them, the man them used to see a headless horseman riding through the bush. And I used to just laugh it off, you know. So one day now we had this new guy come to milk the cows. And he went out in the early morning to go and get the, the, the herd. And he's going down the lane, going down the lane. And all of a sudden, him just run left the herd of cows in the bush cross back over the road come up to the farm miss mel miss mel miss see him miss see him i said what do you see him say miss see the headless horse man miss see him miss see him so he was so frightened that day that I had to send somebody else go get the cows and we had to milk them and from that it was a running joke on the farm right so anyway um to be honest some but sometime after that a man bought the property that his family had he had left his family like the land that he had had owned and this man brought the property and he had a lot of heavy equipment and he was plowing a pasture and the tractor hit something like a big rock. When he heard a shout, is the grave of the man, the headless horseman. And I hear say that tractor never run again another day. It just break down the same place and I eat that, it never run. So that was a that was definitely a story in the area. And I lived as a say in this old house, right? So all of my friends swore blinds in my house haunted. And to be honest, I never see anything. I never hear nothing, nothing like that, but I did hear stories. I want to tell you the truth. So when my friends used to come and stay in the evening or those of them were brave enough to spend the night, cause some of them said, no, some of them stay there. So anyway, um, we'd tell stories and I would tell these stories that I heard as a child growing up. So one time I heard that a friend of my mother's came to look for her and she wasn't there and this elderly woman came out and met him and told him to come in and have a cup of tea so till my mother come home and he come in and this is a good friend of the family I remember him telling the story so he said that he came in and she offered him tea and he was sitting there having him tea and everything was fine and then all of a sudden she get up and him just see her walk through a wall so him catch him free now and when we were hearing the story later on I hear say my mother told me that yes where she walked used to be a door when she was alive so they were thinking it was my grandmother right so another time now my big sister tell me that my father used to see my grandmother my grandmother's name was Eva Daru and he told the kids he told his, his my older siblings right that he had seen her and that she was rattling the drinks trolley. I don't know if she used to be a trickster or have fun when she was alive, but I never met her. And these are the stories that I heard later on, you know? So <laughs> another thing now is, I don't know if you guys ever heard this, but like in the late sixties, there was this story about this coffin that used to go around Jamaica with two Jankro in it, two Jankro. And whenever it stopped, the two Jankro would ask for Mr. Brown. So I hear that it was like at gas station and it was at various places, it like in Brownstone or wherever. And whenever it went to a town, people would come out of the houses to look for this thing because they hear about it and they want to see this coffin with the two John Crow. And one time, rumor had it that the, the John Crow and the coffin, the coffin with the John Crow was going to come out in parade. So I hear that so people come from everywhere to come into downtown to come see this thing. And then block road, like traffic just cock. And businesses had to close down. Everything, it was just too much pandemonium in the place. So here's the joke now. My sister, same big sister, tell me that the whole thing 
was a hoax. It was like an experiment that, that they started at University of the West Indies. And it was done to see how fast news travel. So you know, so Jamaican people love them labrish. And them can't help themselves. Them love to love a little sus and all the story about the junk or anything. They couldn't resist it. So that was how that experiment went. So I don't know if you guys remember that, if any of you were in Jamaica when it happened or if your parents told you about it, but it was it was a thing in those days. So please share your your dopey story in the comments and you know let's um let's explore some more together and I hope you enjoy these stories. So subscribe, like, share with your friend them, and I'll see you on the next video.